Hello, I'm Hannah. Welcome to my rented home. just basically going to people's homes, renters' homes, and showcasing the amazing way that they're decorating. So, so far it's been pretty good, and I know a lot of renters out there are feeling quite inspired by the houses that I've visited so far. This month, I have the lovely Hannah. <laughs> I'm Hannah Bullivant, and I am a stylist and a blogger, although there's not been tons of that blog side happening. You did say that you had this blog for about eight years. I've, I've had it for ages, age, like 11 years. Oh, 11 years? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that. yeah, so yeah, really, I've been blogging for a really long time and it was a side thing, mm -hmm. but it's because of the blog that I was able to transition my sort of, I was working for like a government quango okay. um, into being a stylist. Right, and you work with your husband, don't you? Yeah, I do. So you start and he takes the pictures? Yes. <laughs> How long have you lived in this property? We have now lived nearly two years in this house. Okay. How did you find it? We found it because the landlord and lady are actually friends of ours and we did a photo shoot for their products. Oh, wow. Okay. And we just got chatting and we live, we used to live literally round the corner, like a minute round the corner. Okay. And um, afterwards, um, she, the landlady was like, slightly wild thought, but you wouldn't be interested in living in our house, would you? And we were, we were at that time living in a much smaller rented house that we loved and we yeah. were really happy in. And we were like, oh, let's just have a look. Yeah. And then we couldn't really not. Because you don't get to rent a house like this. No, because like, when I walked in here, I was so like, wow, because like the ceilings are high. Yes. There's a hall. The flooring is that, amazing. Yeah. There's a hall like this. It reminded me of one of those, um, those American homes. There's a huge like foyer. Yes. It's amazing. Our last house didn't even have a hall. Like it was just straight into the lounge and it was really small. Wow. They were saying, oh, that your landlord lives next to you. Yes. How is that? And how is your relationship with your landlord? It's really good. We're friends. So like, I think, they like having people in the house that absolutely cherish it. Like yeah. I don't take it for granted in any way, shape or form. Mm -hmm. um, and we just love, we're so grateful to have the opportunity to rent such a beautiful house. Like it came with lots of beautiful pieces of furniture that we would have chosen. Yeah. The walls were white, mm -hmm. <laughs> not magnolia. You, you like white walls, don't you? I do like white walls. I have been thinking, I would quite like to add some colour to oh, this really? house. And I think I'm, I'm shocked by that. Really? Yeah, because you're very... Very minimal, like and neutral. Your, yeah. What would you describe your style as? Um, neutral, definitely. Yeah. Calm, natural. Um, but I do like a pop of colour. Yeah. And um, so I, for this house, like the studio room upstairs, mm -hmm. I'd quite like to paint a colour similar, to, actually, to the wall that you just painted in your Green, lounge. Golden brown. Yeah. It's so nice. I mean, look at this. I mean, <laughs> yeah. It basically, the light just reflects off of it. And yeah, like, I just love that colour so much. Yeah, that's a good so, idea. Yeah, or like a plaster effect as well. Mm. And I think my landlord and lady would be okay with it, but right yeah. now it's all white. Is there anybody on Instagram that you follow right now that you find quite inspiring, that you find influences your decorating? Yeah, definitely. Um, so I also still subscribe to magazines um, so I do get inspiration from magazines because I sometimes find that the Instagram aesthetic is a little bit samey sometimes yeah. so like I've been trying to diversify the sorts of people that I follow yeah. I love following you and the people that you've shared okay, I definitely love finding other renters yeah. like and seeing how other renters are doing stuff yeah and it feels a lot less lonely when you know that there's more renters around mm. than you 
think. There's like, loads of us. Yes. Honestly. So what would you say to people like, because I always get those questions, especially when I'm making over a bedroom or a living room or whatever, why are you doing it? It's not your house. Why are you investing when you're just giving the landlord reason to like maybe sell the house or up, you know, the investment of the uh, house itself? What would you say to that? I would say it really depends on how much you enjoy the space that you live in. Yes. So I think I believe that we all deserve to have a level of niceness, yeah. really professional, yeah. um, around us that, that represents who we are and our interests, mm. whether that's a home that we own or rent, mm. whether that's in big or small ways. Mm. Um, and so I know that we will be renting for a long time, like we are in a position to buy a house. So while I'm in this house, um, life is short, you never know what's yeah. around the corner, I know that's cheesy. I just feel like I want to make this how this is my life now, this yeah. house is my home mm. and I want to love it and I want it to feel like a nurturing sort of nest yeah. while we're here. That, that basically explains how I feel exactly, when people asking that question, that's exactly what you just said is how I feel. Yeah. It needs to be something that is me and I feel comfortable with and I just feel at home because we spend so much time in our houses, don't we? Yeah, especially when you're freelance, like yeah. we're here oh, a lot yeah. or you've got young kids and yeah. you're home a lot. Exactly. Like it's, can, I know it can drive you a bit like to distraction of your house if you're in your house a lot and there's things that are irritating you mm. or like there's a colour on the wall that's just like, you know, mm. or something. I mean, we all have to deal with that to an extent, I yeah. know. But if there are things that you can do, if you're able to, mm -hmm. it's quite a nice thing to do, I think. And it's not always expensive, is it? No, no. It really isn't. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Small changes can make such a big difference. Like a, a, a large, a big um, pot of trade emulsion mm -hmm. is like sometimes all you need yeah. to, do, like, to, to make a big change. Yeah. Um, especially if you've got magnolia walls or like, yeah, yeah so. I don't like that colour at all. No. For some reason, all the houses that I rented have had. They've not been white, they've just been magnolia. So you're lucky that Why do house... they do that? Why do they do that? I think maybe because the paint is cheaper. Yeah, maybe. maybe. I don't know. But it's such a, it's 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 quite similar, it's just as neutral, but white is so much nicer, it's, isn't it? It's, it's brighter and it's quite, quite, yeah. I like it, yeah, more clean lines. So Hannah, where can we find you online? So I am at hannahbullivant.com. Mm -hmm. um, that's your blog. That's yes. my blog and also my styling portfolio um, and my courses and workshops. And I'm also Han Bullivant on Instagram okay. because Hannah Bullivant was taken. Oh, so, um, yes, yeah, so I'm Han. Um, oh, don't forget to mention about your reefs. Yes, so I've got, um, yeah, this time of year, you'll see some upstairs in the studio, okay, yeah. um, is reef making workshop and table styling workshops. So I've got quite a few coming up in November and December. So I'm just like gearing up and gathering lovely natural seasonal things. We're going to take a tour of Hannah's beautiful home. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also please subscribe. It just helps to get these videos out there. Thank you very much. Let's go. <laughs>
space as well. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a gas fire here, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, it's quite. It's we've got a real log fire in the kitchen, but it's actually quite nice just to turn that on. Wow! So were these shelves all built in already? Yeah. So these are actually an IKEA hack. Oh. Yeah. Did you so, put them? So, no, our landlords did. They're right. so good. We've got, we've so lucky. We have looked out with our landlords. <laughs> so, so yeah, they're the you know the shelves. Yeah, the lac ones. Yes. Yeah. But they built them in with this wooden like, like with this structure at the side. Okay, so that's, that's so quite, cool. I think that's quite clever, isn't it? So. It um, looks like it's built in. Yes. So Would yeah, never have really... thought that they were the IKEA shelves. Yeah, so it's quite yeah, it's quite clever. And um, your sofas? sofas? Where are they from? Are, um, eventually, I'd quite like to upgrade them because we bought them to fit into our old lounge, which was tiny. Um, but that's a DFS sofa. Is it a cover, by the way? Is it got? Oh, no, okay. Oh, with that. It's okay. a French connection from DFS one. Nice. That is from Willow and Hall, um, another sofa, British made sofa company, and it's got a really good, comfortable sofa bed in it, so that's kind of why I got it. Um, so yeah, but I love the idea of having a big L shape here. Mm, that's nice, it creates like a little intimate setting, doesn't yeah. it? Hannah, I've noticed that you've got um, your kids' toys here. How do you like manage the toys? So A, I'm quite lucky that my kids aren't that into toys. I know okay. that sounds a bit, some kids really love collecting things and stuff. Yeah. Um, and I'm a big declutterer. So I do, I go through these toys quite a lot and I get rid of things that haven't been played with in a while. Okay. Um, so often friends with children come over and they're like, where's where's all this stuff? <laughs> like, we just don't have it. Um, so I've just put out what they play most with and then I sort of rotate it. So I've got more, I've got another box or two upstairs. Okay, do they play mainly in the living room? Um, all over the place. My daughter just likes performing, so often it's just she just wants to like dress up and we, we watch her shows. Oh, I love so, that. Yeah, let's go to the kitchen, shall okay. we? Yes. Hi, Dave. Hi. House is lovely. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right, Helen, talk us through your kitchen. So, this is my kitchen. Come in. We moved in. The cabinet came with the house, the shelf, there's a wood burning stove here and all these units um, were with it as well. We moved in when we had a tiny baby so it was just really good to just kind of plonk our stuff in and not have to do loads of jobs mm -hmm. and, and stuff. Um, but yeah, we love these big doors um, and we open them actually pretty much all year round. And in the summer, we carry our table outside and, um, and sit out when we've got friends over. You've got loads of seating, which is good too. I do have loads of seating. Again, we have, we have people over quite a lot and for workshops and stuff in the house, so we can seat 10 around the table. Okay. So. What's your favorite thing about this kitchen? My favorite, it's gotta be the doors. Yeah, they are nice. I mean, the light. Our last kitchen was tiny and there was no light and it led onto the downstairs toilet. So. And your garden looks nice too. Yeah. Oh, it's quite wild. You need to see mine and then you'll know what wild is. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, um, well up here is a leaf garland. I make one every year with pressed autumn leaves with my daughter. She actually made that one this year. Um, and below are just a couple of autumn flat floor arrangements that I made. I'm doing an event next week where I'm teaching this so I've been practicing. Okay, so this is again what you said earlier about decorating like seasonal. Bringing in seasonal elements. This was from an antique shop in town and um, there's some really really good antique shops in Faversham. Um, my cousin's husband said it looked like a rabbit hutch and so that is... No, not at that all. That is what we call it. <laughs> so it kind of does, I like it. Okay, hey. this is the utility room. Yes. Which is really cool if you have one a lot of homes in england don't have them they yes. have the washing machine in the kitchen don't they yes so this is pretty cool it is quite unusual so this used to be the kitchen when um the previous people before my landlord and lady this was the kitchen and that was the dining room right so they the way what they did is turn this bit into a utility room and that bit into their kitchen so that's why it's so big the utility room um, but again, this is brilliant and yes. when I'm hosting like wreath workshops and stuff, this is absolutely, like Dave calls it Jumanji, like it this <laughs> becomes my Jumanji room. Um, and this, I love this. I think it's called the Sheila's Maid. Is that what it's called? Okay. I think so, but it is so used, again, so yeah. used. This curtain hides all the crates, so in here, here are all my boxes of plates for styling jobs and events, Ooh. so um, yeah. So I've wanted to put a curtain here since you moved in and your visit, finally, meant that it happened. It's a great use of space though. Yes, yeah. Do you ever find storage a problem in this house at all? We don't have access to the cellar or the loft because the landlord has got things in it. So yes, it has been a bit of a challenge. 
um, but it's just meant that we've had to be really disciplined um, to really just make sure just make sure that our things fit into the storage that we have that's mm -hmm. been our challenge so these are like uh, my powders and potions because I make my own cleaning products say what um, say that again that is amazing <laughs> So I make some of my own cleaning products, not all of them, um, but that's my washing powder over there, the recipe on my Okay, blog. can you give us, a, oh, okay, link it to your go. blog, that's fine. We'll look at the blog for the uh, recipe. <laughs> What's the reason why you do that? Um, a few years ago, I think when I got pregnant with Frank, so I was like on a bit of a mission to sort of reduce chemicals in yeah. the house. Um, and I've just got into a rhythm of it now, so I've been doing it for like eight years or something. Um, and it's so much cheaper because I buy all the powders in big bags and mm -hmm. tubs. Um, is it easy though? Yeah, it's easy. You just mix a few powders. I made that the other day in about five minutes. Which one's that? That is the, the washing powder. Cool. Walking up these lovely stairs. They're literally just a statement piece on their own. Yeah, I love them. And I love this. This is a, um, is this a rug? It is. It's just a scarf from oh. Block Shop Textiles. These are my favourite colours. Yes. They, it's good, Speaking it? to me right now. I like hanging stuff on the wall that isn't supposed to be covered on the wall. It yeah. feels like this is a scarf, but I just love the pattern. Your bathroom has a fireplace, by the way. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it doesn't work. It's a, it's a pretend one, but it's still glorious. Yes, it is. Yeah, I made these, like, uh, these towels. You made them? Mm, yeah, I'm just out of linen. How? So, well, they, I just knew that I needed a big, long, thin one. But yeah. You can't find that anywhere. Okay. Um, so I just sewed it. I just bought and sewed it. That's really thrive in your home. I used to kill plants. Did you? All the time. But yeah, I have got to a place of plant happiness. Okay, give us a tip because I need oh. I, I need all the tips I can get. I think neglect is <laughs> the tip. Because don't um, overwater I think them. I was overwatering them and loads of my pots don't have drainage. Do you have the same thing? Um, a few of them don't. And that's when it's a bit dangerous because you don't know that at the bottom it's rotting. Right, so okay. I did recently lose a really gorgeous cactus because I'd overwatered it. That was a sad day. And this cabinet was my husband's sister, my sister-in-law's. Um, and this holds like first aid stuff, towels, bedding, stuff like that. That poster was, I saved that from when I was at uni. Oh really? Yeah. So lots of stuff in the house I've had for a long time. Okay. So this is my kids' room. My son who is two and my daughter who is seven share this room. Um, so it needed to work for both of them. So our solution was to have this high cabin bed. Um, and on the bottom is a double mattress because one of us often ends up getting in here with my son. That is um, so cool. I like that. Yeah, so it just works quite well. Um, and for sleepovers and things, it works quite well. And then um, we wanted to create a sort of space for Frankie that was just her own sort of, yeah. So this ladder can come off. So if she needs some space from Auden, you can take the ladder off and then oh. she can just have her own precious things. And how old is your daughter, sorry? Seven. Seven, okay. So it's important to her to be able to like, have her journal, she has journals like me, it's so sweet. Oh, I love and that. her like jewellery and like her like her precious things. So and she's like taped pictures on the wall up there. Probably wouldn't have done it like this, but I love that but she's it's, like it's, customizing. Yeah, it it's her room, room, her space, that's nice. Um, but is this bed actually something you built or did you buy it? We bought it, so I I got this bed from Facebook Marketplace, which is um I love Facebook Marketplace. Me too. So I think it was only like 70 quid or something. What? Um yeah, and then we got the mattresses as well from Facebook Marketplace. So wow. yeah, it was like it was a good second hand sort of uh yeah, one. Um and it works really well for our needs. Again, we wanted to give Frankie an area that she could hang all of her sparkly sequiny things and, um do her hair and makeup, which she loves. Um, and then also just her books that she can reach from her bunk. Um, and I've framed some of her art up here. I like that. Is there any, has she got any favourite books? Um, she, we're obsessed together with Harry Potter, so we're reading yes, Harry Potter. that's a good choice. I've seen this room a lot on Instagram. This is our bedroom, um, and we recently put up this shelf um, along the back. Again, just to give me options for shelf faffery. Yeah. Um, and it's like, is it a plywood sheet? Yep, yeah, it's just a um, really cheap sheet of plywood um, okay. with brackets. So the whole shelf would probably cost about eight, eight or ten pounds so and did, to, to get the wood in the brackets, so it's cheap. Did you do it or did? Um, Dave did it. It's brilliant. 
And I like also that you've got like spaces for the lights, yes. which are plugins, aren't they? Yes, they which are. Which again plugins. is brilliant when you rent. Yes. So we've only had to attach them, yeah, with these brackets, and then they're plugged in. So okay. yeah, we love them, and they um, swing. So where do you store your clothes? I know you haven't got a wardrobe. There's a cupboard in the hall. Oh, is there? Okay. Um, which has got too much. It's surprisingly big, and in that cupboard. So again, again, because of decluttering and minimalism, I don't. We don't have that many clothes. But okay. In there is where we might have like sleeping bags, clothes, anything like off season. Um, and then in here, me and Dave have folded stuff. Um, so yeah, and then toiletries and stuff in here. And then you've got another fireplace. That works. That one. Does it? Do yeah. you put it on? Yeah, in winter, yeah, we that do. Is lovely. So I've just had candles in there over the summer and stuff, but it's just starting to feel chilly enough to light. Nice. Yeah, this light in two lampshade, sorry. It's a basket. It's just a basket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, I really like it. A basket from where, though? Objects of use, I think. Okay. Um, and I just got the, I used a different light fitting to stick it up, so yeah. I really like that, Hannah. That is super creative. So this is our study. Dave has recently moved his stuff to a studio in London. So this room is now basically all mine, which is incredible. It is when you work from home. Yes. Um, so yeah, that's I've sort of got wreath materials and floral supplies there. Um, and yeah, I've got my desk. Um, and this is a really good space for photo shoots. So we'll offer like I'll style a table or something and shoot it in that space or a wreath or like a, a how-to video or something. Can you show us a bit of your wreath making? Yeah, so this is one I made last night. Ooh. Um, I did a live wreath training online and I'll show people how to, how to make a woven base and okay. also how to adorn it. All of this is foraged. Um, wow, I'll, I'll link that as well. I'll link that in the um, description of this video. So if anyone's interested, they can head over to Hannah's video. But I am very inspired by what's happening in the seasons and what's happening in nature. And I want to inspire people to just try this sort of thing. Yeah. And um, you don't need to spend loads of money at a florist to be able to make a beautiful thing for your home. Mm -hmm. Also, you've got these huge cabinets in your office. I'm going to say something boring again. What? These were here. Wow, so it's like, the, like these landlords like were in your head yeah. before you moved in. I know, and they're like the, the most perfect angels from heaven. I'm not even going to show you in there. That's fine. Okay, so that <laughs> was organised and their name was it's no longer organised. Um, but it's, I just have my props and stuff, so I've got vases, candlesticks, so this is for events. So I style events for people. This is where I store all of that, or some of it anyway. What got you into a wreath making, Hannah? Um, I think a general love of what's happening outside. Yeah. I've always brought greenery and stuff like that in. And then, I don't know, I can't remember. It's been years though, I've been doing it for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, I probably saw something on Pinterest and thought, oh, I'll have a go at that. Yeah. And it's quite hypnotic when you start to make the bases, like weaving. Mm -hmm. um, so what, yeah. are the, what are the basic tools for wreath making? Well, they are, we need some good secateurs. Nice. And have I got any out? Oh yeah, so you also need this real wire as well. This is this stuff is good. Okay, that just attaches the branches. Yes. I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. Also, do you make kits to? S I have done once, and okay. I'm going to do it again for Christmas. I think. So okay. It's just a new thing for me. I'm figuring it all out. Okay. So um, stay tuned, everybody. Stay tuned. We hung the curtains. Um, they're actually blackout curtains because it means that we can control the light for photo shoots a bit more. Um, so these are really great if you're renting because it, it's minimal holes in the wall, but yep. you can just play and hang loads of different things. So yeah, I'm always faffing and putting different things here. Are you ready, Hannah? I am ready. This is Medina's quick fire questions. What's your favorite color? Brown. <laughs> What's your favorite blog? Green Design. <laughs> <laughs> literally the, the answer that came to my head. That's an easy cop out. Oh, no. <laughs> Another one. Um. Oh my god, I can't, my memory is so bad. Pass. Pass. What makes you laugh the most? My kids. What was the last movie you went to see? I haven't been to the cinema in years. Last movie that you saw on telly? Last movie that we saw on telly. Um, because we've got young kids, I'm halfway through watching Blade Runner. Okay. What did you want to be when you were younger? I wanted to be 
an artist. Hmm, I feel like you kind of are I'm, though. I'm getting a bit closer, aren't I? Yeah. yeah. If you could hire someone to help you with, would it be with cleaning, cooking or yard work? Cleaning. If you could eat only one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Toast. Really? That's a crap answer, isn't it? What is the first thing you notice about someone? Um, whether they hold your gaze, whether like how warm they're how warm they are. If you were a superhero, what powers would you have? Flying. I've always wanted to fly. How many pillows do you sleep with? Uh, two. What three items would you take with you to a deserted island? My journal, some music. Can you take people or does it have to be things? Things. Journal, music, probably some kind of incense or smelly candle. <laughs> <laughs> what was your first job? <clears throat> um, it was actually as a model. Really? <laughs> oh, wow. I do online. Okay. Yeah. So when I was like 16. Which kitchen appliance do you use the most? Kettle. And there we have it.